H2 plus molecular ion is the next uh, article in molecular spectra. That point we discuss by using the nature of the wave function of electron in H2 plus ion for symmetric and anti-symmetric functions. Now what is H2 plus ion system that we firstly defining here. H2 plus ion which consists of two proton and one electron and these two protons are separated by the separation hence R is the separation between the two protons that separation we have to compare with the radius of the first Bohr orbit that is A0 radius of first Bohr orbit. Hence firstly we draw the nature of the wave function of electron around the two proton A and B and separately we are explaining anti-symmetric and symmetric wave functions. If we considering the symmetric wave function and if we suppose the separation between the two proton is very large in comparison with the radius of first Bohr orbit, then the behavior of the wave function is exactly similar with the nature of the wave function for hydrogen atom in 1s state. That is shown A and B both functions are symmetric hence if R is very large the behavior of the wave function of electron is exactly same as hydrogen atom in 1s state. As the separation between the two proton goes on decreasing and when it approaches to R, if it is comparable with the A0, separation between the two proton is comparable with A0 that is shown in the figure D. Then what happened? The probability of finding the electron in between the two proton goes on increasing. That probability increases due to the excess negative charge between the two protons. And if there is excess charge between the two proton, the two proton gets attracted. That situation is similar to the sharing of electron between the two protons. Hence, under the symmetric wave function, if the separation between the two proton approaches to A0, then what happens? The probability of finding electron in between two proton increases means there is excess charge in between the two proton. That is similar to the sharing of electron between two one. Hence, in that situation, the stable molecular ion may be formed. But as R becomes zero, means the two protons fuse together and it forms the single nucleus. That nucleus, single nucleus having the charge plus 2E means the wave function for H2 plus ion system is same as helium plus ion in one year state. And the amplitude is double 
टू दैट ऑफ साई ए और साई बी फंक्शन Now, what is the energy in that case when R is zero? If the wave function behavior is same as helium plus ion in the one year state, here the amplitude gets double. That we calculate using the energy variation curve. Hence, the result we conclude from the symmetric wave function is that if the separation between the two proton approaches to a zero. there may be possibility of formation of the stable system in that stable system the two proton attract the probability of finding electron in between the two proton increases and it form a stable molecular system if it form the stable molecular system then how much energy is required to dissociate h2 plus ion into two separate atom that we discuss in the next step now we compare anti symmetric wave function here the nature of the wave function around the proton a and b is an anti symmetric nature and if r is very large in comparison with a0 these two natures we shown a and b similarly for symmetric function in the figure a and b that behavior is again same as the ground state wave function for hydrogen atom as r decreases and it approaches up to the a0 then what happen that is shown in the figure c and d here as separation between the two proton decreases up to the a0 means that is equivalent to a0 then it shows a single node is appear in between the two proton where the function is zero all curves are varied with respect to psi with respect to r hence what happen in that case here at the in between the two proton psi becomes zero and if psi is zero then probability of finding the electron in between the two proton is negligibly very small that result is due to the deficiency of negative charge between the two proton and due to deficiency of negative charge what happen the two protons in between the two proton there is a repulsive force that repulsive force is responsible for the formation of anti symmetric wave function but the system is not stable it is unstable now how it is unstable since as r equal to 0 two proton fuse together then it form a single nucleus but here this it is not a single nucleus but say the resulting wave function is equivalent to the wave function of helium plus ion in the 2p state and 2p state is an excited state for helium atom if one of the electron is in the 2p state the resulting system achieve higher energy and due to the excess energy or the higher energy the anti symmetric wave function form unstable system hence the final result we conclude from the two observation of symmetric and anti symmetric function symmetric functions for symmetric function the formation of the stable molecular system is possible but for anti symmetric wave function of the electron in h2 plus the stable molecular system cannot be formed
Now then we find what is the energy at r equal to 0, lowest limit and at the extreme limit r equal to infinity. That also we calculate from the nature of the wave function. As r is 0, that we know that here the resulting wave function is equivalent to the function of helium plus ion in the 1 year state. Means the energy of the ground state of the helium ion is equal to that we have to calculating z square by n square times of energy of hydrogen atom in the ground state. One year state of helium ion means z for helium is 2, 2 square is 4 divided by n square, n is 1, one year state means n is 1, 4 by 1 is 4 multiplied by 13.6 electron volt that is minus 54 point for electron hole that is much energies at r equal to 0 for symmetric function. For anti-symmetric function at r equal to 0, we calculate the energy by using the nature of the wave function. At r equal to 0, the function is similar to that of helium plus ion in the 2p state, hence energy of the 2p state of the helium atom that is z square by n square, z is 2, 2 square divided by n, 2p state means n equal to 2, that is n square, z square by n square times ground state of hydrogen atom, energy of ground state for hydrogen atom, that is minus 13.6 we get, since 4 by 4 cancel, we get 1. Similarly, we calculate at r equal to infinity, when r is infinity, we know the nature of the wave function around the proton A and B has exact similar nature of the ground state of hydrogen atom. Hence, at r equal to infinity, energy is same, minus 13.6 electron volt. Here, for anti-symmetric behavior of the function, no possibility of formation of the stable molecule since no no minimum energy is getting under that situation hence the stable system cannot be formed now then we explain how much dissociation energy we calculate here that part when the stable molecular system is formed for symmetric function at equilibrium separation between the two r that uh, equilibrium separation between two proton that is r that should be 1.06 angstrom at that separation energy reaches minimum hence the stable system is formed also we calculate the dissociation energy and that is 2.65 electron volt now see the nature of the energy versus r r is the separation along x axis between the two proton and energy is along y axis the first graph we plot for electrostatic potential of proton which inversely proportional to r means as r increases the potential goes on decreasing that variation is shown by the first curve second curve we plot for energy for symmetric function that value we calculate earlier at r equal to 0 minus 54.4 electron volt and at the extreme limit r infinity since the nature of the wave function for H2 plus ion is exactly same as one year state of hydrogen atom when R is very large, hence that R infinity approaches to minus 13.6 electron volt. Now from this two curve, first and second, we get Es total energy for symmetric function is the sum of Es plus Vp electrostatic potential variation for the proton and that plot is shown by the curve 3. Now Es total for in that curve 3 it shows minimum energy minimum Minimum is observed at about minus 16.3 electron volt. At what separation? R equal to 1 angstrom. 
और 1.06 पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स से इंटू टेन टू माइनस टेन मीटर दैट सिचुएशन करस्पॉन्स टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द स्टेबल मोलिकुलर आयन हियर इन द सेम केस वी ऑल्सो फाइंड हाउ मच डिसोसिएशन एनर्जी इज रिक्वायर्ड टू ब्रेक एच टू प्लस आई एन इंटू एच एन एच प्लस आइटम दैट मच एनर्जी टू पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री हिन्स हाउ वी गेट टू पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री माइनस सिक्सटीन पॉइंट थ्री माइनस वी टेक द सबसेक्शन माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स वी गेट टू पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री दैट मच एनर्जी इज सफिशियंट दैट एनर्जी इज डिसोसिएशन एनर्जी फॉर एच टू प्लस आई एन नाउ फॉर एंटीसीमेट्रिक फंक्शन For anti-symmetric function, energy we also calculate here. What is the energy at r equal to zero? It is the behavior is same as at r equal to zero for anti-symmetric function. Behavior for the H two plus ion, we know in that energy we calculate earlier minus thirteen point six electron volt, and at the extreme case r infinity again the energy is same minus thirteen point six. means there is some dip is observed in between minus 13.6 at the lower and extreme limit but we cannot say that there is a some minimum observed in that region we combine the two curves first and fourth curve and we get e total energy curve for antisymmetric function that is ea total is the sum of ea plus vp that curve is shown here fifth curve this is the ea total and it shows no any minimum in that case hence we say that for anti symmetric function no minimum energy is required means no stable molecular system is formed the molecular system formation it required minimum energy that minimum energy we calculate only from symmetric wave function hence in that article we discuss about the nature of the wave function and their corresponding energy variation with respect to separation between the two proton and we find the result for symmetric function the energy for the formation of the stable molecular ion is minimum that minimum energy is minus 16.3 electron volt and also we calculate the dissociation energy that energy is 2.63 electron volt thank you